Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you how you can deploy your very first smart contract into Ganache CLI local Ethereum blockchain. So in order to do this we're gonna use the Remix Ethereum.org which is um, basically some kind of browser based um, IDE so we have the editor we have some compiling uh, features and uh, we can use that tool uh, for writing our smart contracts so i'm gonna create a new smart contract for you real quick and i will call it hello world and here in the first line we need just some kind of specification which version of solidity this contract is supporting so uh, our contract have the hello world name and inside our contract i will create first a constructor which is a public function which is simply called whenever uh, the smart contract is deployed so uh, in and this uh, constructor in this constructor i would like to save the address of the owner of the smart contract and the owner is basically the person who deployed uh, the smart contract to the network so we have one variable it's called owner it's publicly available and the type of this variable is address the second um, variable that i have in the fifth line it's a secret message and this is a string variable where i will just just store a string and uh, now we have this very simple smart contract and now I'm gonna run Ganache CLI which is a local Ethereum blockchain and we will try to deploy our smart contract uh, to our Ethereum um, node so first I'm gonna need to uh, import some uh, account with some uh, ethereum some test ethereum and I need this account because uh, whenever we want to uh, compile and then deploy smart contract we need some ethereum to pay for the gas because deploying smart contracts is not free of charge so uh, we're gonna need some money and inside the Remix IDE all we need to do is is to select the environment which is injected web3 and our metamask is exposing our account to the ide so the remix.ethereum org knows which uh, account and which network we are using we have some error here with the compilation as you can see this editor gives you some hints i forgot to put here a semicolon pretty um common mistake and now uh, inside deploy we can run deploy and metamask now is asking us question whether we are confirming this transaction and once we confirm it you can see in the log of the ganache cli that actually some contract with this simple code was created in our blockchain and here we have the list of deployed contracts and now we have only one contract because we deployed only one and as you can see we have the exactly the same address as in metamask and in the owner variable then we have also this secret message variable which we can uh, simply display here inside our editor editor so now I will do some um, simple function uh, which enables us to change our secret message so we have the function which takes one parameter and it's public the parameter is at, uh, in the temporary memory and inside the body of our function i'm checking that this function is executed by the owner of the smart contract because we don't want other people to interact with this smart contract in and change the value of the secret message so this uh, requ require is simply some kind of if check and whether this if is not true 
and the uh, error is raised. So now we have this new version of smart contract deployed to the network and the very important thing is that whenever we are doing some change to the smart contract we need to deploy it again because um, we cannot change the code of already deployed smart contract. And now as you can see I, I'm able not only to get some values from the smart contract but I'm also um, possible to run the set message function. And now I will change my current account inside the MetaMask wallet to prove you that our require um, if check actually works because now we have uh, another account enabled inside the MetaMask and I will try to uh, change the message of the very same smart contract. As you can see I am able to call getters but now when I would like to change the message like another test and run this function uh, yeah I will confirm and you can see the smart contract is not returning success message for me and because I'm not the owner and only owner is possible to change the secret message. So now I will change the account again and I will give you a proof that it still works for the owner. So that's it for today. I just wanted to show you how you can deploy smart contracts and in the next video we will try to interact with our smart contract from the rail uh, from the react front-end application so that's all for today thank you for your attention and see you soon